Hello, Shweta. Can we start? Yes, Rupesh. Uh, hello, guys. Good afternoon. I'm Rupesh from Python Group, and today I'm giving the training on the uh, GraphQL API design by using the Python and Django framework. I'm sharing my screen. My sharing is visible. Screen is visible. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. So first of all, I will introduce about the GraphQL. So GraphQL is a graphical query language. It's not an API. It's not an API architecture like REST. It's a language that allows us to share the related data. And the GraphQL is a query language. It provides the query in the form of string that to send to the server and the server interprets the query and then returns the result in the form of JSON format to the client. And the graph query is a strongly type system to define the data we want available to the API. For that, we get the schema for the API and I will show you the example of schemas. And here we use the graphene library to enable us to build the API in Python by making the API with the Django. And the main advantage of GraphQL uh, is the GraphQL is the faster. It is a faster than the other communication API like the REST API because it facilitates it facilitates you to cut down your query and means there are the several fields in your uh, tables and you have to get only the specific fields. Then you only mention the specific fields. Then it will return the uh, data about that fields only and other than rest it returns all the payloads it uh, requires lots of time that is the one main advantage and uh, again then in the graphql first of all we're designing the schemas and then in in the schema there are the several types like uh, creating the types the queries mutations and the resolvers first of all we see in the types here the creating types so type describes the kind of data that available in the api there are already provided primitive types that we can use but you can also define our own custom type also like here one example is of the type actor it's nothing but the actor class it contains the two fields the id and the name string this id is nothing but the type of the data it's unique identifiers suppose this id id is not a string then it serialized and converted into the string and here the note is that they, this exclamation mark signifies that it the field is required. Like there is the uh, type. And next one is the uh, after types we creating the queries. I, here the query specifies what data can be retrieved and what's required to get to it by using by using type what data you have to require. Then here uh, I have defined the type query example like actor. And here the input is the ID and it returns the actor object. And suppose the actors and it returns the list of actors. I will explain you about this. And uh, again, this query type allows us to get the actor data by providing their ID. Here you see the actor and input as an ID. It returns the that a specific ID act records. Or we can get a list of them without filtering, like this actors. It returns the list of actors. There are the two types of query in the single uh, type query. And again, that uh, the creating resolvers. So the resolvers is that in a query class methods are created that called as a query resolvers. And the resolvers connect, connect the queries in the schema to the actual action done by the database. And the example of resolver I will show in the uh, demo project. Here I define the here is one, one of my Django projects and here the one app the movie and uh, here define the schema file file and here I mentioned the like this is the actor type it, it it gets the actor models and after that actor model I have created the query query class and the query class contains the actor and actors and this actor is nothing but the uh, I is the data from the actor actor type and it uh, gets the input as a id parameter like this i have shown you like this id as the input and it turns the actor 
uh, object and the actors it get list the actor type like this actors it returns the list of actors and here are the resolvers in query class there are the methods that call as a uh, resolvers like the resolve actors in this the actor the methods contain the uh, it, it gets the parameters by using the keywords like the id and if id is not a none then it returns the actor objects of that particular id it returns that actor object and the another one is the actors it returns the all the list of actors these are the resolvers of these queries these are the example of uh, resolvers and then next is the uh, mutations like in the mutation describes what operation can be done to change the data on the servers like there are the creating records deleting records or updating records that requires the mutations and the mutation depends on the two things like the inputs and the payloads the input is the special types that only use as the arguments in a mutation when we want to pass an entire object instead of individual fields i will show you the example and the payloads is nothing but regular types but by convention we use them as the outputs for mutation so we can easily extend them as a api walls these are the some input types like input actor input then the id the id and the name is the string and the payload type is type actor payloads okay boolean and the actor returns the actor object and this okay is take note the okay field is nothing but use as a uh, metadata like a status or an error field say any error occur then you use this okay fields and we type here some uh, custom message also like record created successfully like that and this mutation example is also i will show you here i have created the input object type like actor inputs and the id and name the graphene id and the graphene string and uh, here i have created the uh, mutations for actors and here the class class name in the mutation the class name this class name corresponds to the uh, graphql query name and the class inner argument class correspond to the input argument for that mutations and the okay this okay and the uh, actor properties make up the actor payload like this is the actor this is the actor our actor payload okay and in that we return the muted methods and this this methods perform the action like create actors here we pass the input that is the input name and it pass the actor it creates the records and by using the save it updated into the database and returns the instance like here i will show, i have told you the okay in that okay i have passed this message record created uh, as a input name and the uh, returns the actor object in the payload we already mentioned the okay and the actor object like this and the another one mutation is for the up update actor same like uh, create actors but here we get the id and input name also and by using that though both the fields we only update get the id of that but existing records if existing record is this then we only update that name and by using the save methods we update it into the database and returns the uh, that okay uh, status and the that objects of the updated fields and another one mutation is that delete delete actors it only takes the id as a parameters and it only uh, in in this payload we only pass the message this record deleted successfully like this record deleted successfully okay and these are the the mutations like this and after the mutation types bring this all together like type mutation up in that create actors here is input actor input it returns the actor payload and update actors it takes the id as the input and also the name actor input and returns the actor payloads and here create actor mutator needs an actor input object in this case it is the actor input object and which requires the name of the actors uh, while creating actor we pass name and it turns uh, it creates that uh, particular actor object and in the update actor uh, mutator requires the id of that actor being updated as well as the updated information like the id and name 
after that defining the schemas and the finally after creating the all first of all types queries mutations resolvers then we registering the whole the query and mutation in the schema the finally we map the query and the mutations for that we have created the schema the example is schema object or the query assigned to the our query class and the mutation class both the mutation class uh, then after explaining the graphql design i will show you the example in uh, by using the uh, django projects here is the some configurations creating like installing configuring virtual environments and the django it require the django and graphene uh, like i will i have uh, done the uh, put here some steps of creating virtual environments in that virtual environments uh, that env folders in your uh, current directory then you have to activate that uh, by using the activate commands and if you are you are working over then by using deactivate command the environment is deactivated while in our virtual environments it requires the some packages uh, first of all django and the graphene library and these are the commands for uh, installing the django and the graphene django package we use in our current recent projects and i will show you the uh, like this uh, demo projects first of all i have created the one demo project that i already told you this is the django graphql movies and then that i have added one models like the this actor in the model dot i have added this actor class and add a type query and mutation in the schema dot py file like in i have already shown you this type query and the mutations all these are the mutations added in the schema.py file and also show you the how to register schema in demo projects like after doing this all the types query and the mutation we re we registering the our schema into the uh, we register our schema into the demo project like and here we register that schema into the main our root project uh, schema.py file here we import that app name and the dot schema like here we define the initial in the movies app there is a schema file all these we register into the outside of the main project by using the movie dot schema here we uh, register the query like here pass the movies app name and the schema dot query this is a graphene object type and similar to the we have to register the mutations by using the app name dot schema and the mutations and after the, all the pass to the this schema a schema class of the graphenes parameter as a query and the mutation and after it is stored into the schema and here from here we can register the graphene and tell it to use our schema whatever we define in our projects then after that another setting is that open project setting the py files is the setting py file and in that add the graphene django as the first item in the install apps like here i will show you in the install apps you have to add the graphene django app and uh, uh, whatever you apps uh, install uh, you created like i have created the movies then i have also mentioned that app also and then in the same file add the following code of couple of new lines below install apps like here is the graphene object in that is the schema key we have to pass the our our created key, custom created schema like here is the graphene and in this graphene this is our uh project folder name and this this schema is nothing but the, this schema file and under that schema file we have this schema of this is the like this is the hierarchical structures okay and in the graphql api are rich via one endpoints uh that is the graphql here we need to register into the our urls.py file then i have again open the urls.py file and in this i have imported this graphql i use the graphql view and here the graphql provides its uh, id to access the queries to write the queries like this is the class and this class has a as view methods and in that we have to pass the graphical is equal to true and this is for a development project after the in the production you have to make this as a false because uh, we, in the development we have to also test the queries whatever we have to write the queries that already uh, we have to test that's why i am uh, here we mention the graphical is equal to true by using the graphical true i will show you the how the graphql uh, its uh, id is look like 
this is the uh, mention the graphql endpoints and after that testing our api to test our api let's run the project and then go to the graphql endpoints this is the endpoint and encounter the graphql id I will to the sample query in my local machine i will run first of all i will run this project Ah, the project is done and in the other tab i open the this my endpoint is there and here is the graphql id is look like and here at the left side this left side panel contains the uh, query and here is the output i will show you the uh, i have one uh, op, uh, query write the query right here is the syntax query and suppose i will get the actor list of actors then i enter the actors and here the auto fields are there and these are nothing but the these are uh, our predefined queries we we have already mentioned here like this is the actor and actors like whenever i type this this actor is nothing but the this individual actors and this actor is list of actors i have only mentioned the actors and in that whatever fields in the actors there are the two fields suppose i only get the id and i execute by using this symbol it returns only list of actors only the id i have mentioned only the id and again i uh, get the name also then i will type the name and i will again execute that uh, then the list of ids with the name actors the id name again several if there are the multiple fields when you are typed there multiple field names I, in my uh, class only the two fields i will get the id and name this is the list of actors suppose i will get the particular actor then i will then for particular actor our query is that actors then i have to this actor and i have to pass the input of id like here we get how to get the id input and this is passed nothing but id colon colon like suppose here we have to only pass the two and i execute that it returns only the second records like this id and name i have to get only the name then i remove the id then only it returns the name okay there are these are the two our queries the actors and actors individual record by using the uh, actor query uh, by passing the id as a parameter and the actors resolvers the returns the list of actors then this this is the getting the queries again that i have to use the mutations there are the three types of in the mutations we are creating mutation creating records are deleting and updating first of all we explain you query about the create query uh, create record here is the create example of the actor okay here i will pass the mutation create actors and the create actors uh, is nothing but here is the you have see that this create actor is that in this create actor name uh, corresponds to the our query class name and the inputs contains the name so we, this input only input field is it requires the name pass the name and after executing it returns the payload the payload contains okay and the actor as the object this actor is nothing but the field type of actor object and it it contains the id and name after executing this the oh, like show you the okay it contains the status a record created the name of tom hanks and the actor object returns the six and tom hanks now i will execute the query it actors it contains now the this sixth one also Like this from um, six one records. Okay. Anyone have a question? Okay.
uh, sorry for that but my laptop battery is going down so i am dropping off okay 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 then uh, like create create, uh, create uh, actors similar example like uh, there are another queries for the update actor notations it is also the mutation same like the create actors we have to pass the id like these three and in the input i have to mention here the another name is like the uh entry okay here the existing record is uh, third id is the name is rupesh now i have updated that uh, name to the entry and i will execute that query the name change new name is the entry I will show you the by using the query. It actors. So there is a author ID. The name is the entry. This is the updated one. And the last one example is of the delete actors. And in the delete mutations, we have to only pass the only pass the id field like in the mutation i was seen in the delete in the delete mutation you have to only pass the id only the id here i would pass the six one six id and here the message is written record deleted successfully so deleting you only check by using the query of all actors Next one is the delete Okay, this one is another one, one method by accessing the queries in the local and the another one we, have, we, we access this API by using the, our Postman also. Like here is the Postman and here are passing the our API and in the post methods and in body parts we will here select the GraphQL and whatever query I have passed here you have to just copy this query and pass into the body and send it to the server then it returns the like same similar output like here means by using postman also we call this graphql endpoints and here is one of the by default graphql id also the end of the presentation any questions uh i just had a question uh hmm. when do we use graphql um like sorry no i was asking when do we use graphql um because uh in the others udemy courses that i have done uh generally uh, like in none of them graphql use use so so when do you use this particularly uh this graphql is you uh, mainly using for creating the microservices or uh, suppose we have to combining the multiple uh similar my micro uh, microservices like the the graphql benefits uh in our company uh, in one of my uh, previous project I use the GraphQL. Like there is the, uh, I will also the uh, in uh, another time I will show you that uh, project demo also. In that I have okay. created the GraphQL uh, schemas, only GraphQL schemas, and our database is the uh, MongoDB. I have written okay. only the GraphQL schemas, and I have created the endpoint at another app. It's only created the records and dump into the database. And by using okay. the GraphQL, we only return the specific data okay okay instead, so, of, instead of writing the rest api by the main advantage i already told you in the rest api we have uh, created the different types of api like for uh particular id we may uh, created one api like uh suppose uh the post post and slash the id then we have get only the that uh id post 
if i have to get the that post that ids and that followers then you have to uh, create another api but uh -huh. by using the graphql you only mention here the id and here the uh, suppose this is the follower and you have to only pass this follower means in a single query you will get that id and that particular id post also and the follower also okay okay got it and here we also created the custom uh, custom type also like here i have uh, used the existing uh, django models existing django models in one in my uh, already mentioned in our uh, existing project not i am using the existing django models how passing that uh, database externally we accessing and here how defining my custom uh, fields and custom types and get okay. the, uh, getting the types in the, oh, wait i will show you here is the, my local copy of that project here you see is the aggregation output see mm -hmm. there is nothing in the models and here right. is, here is my schema files and see here is my custom types and these are the, all of the fields of that types okay and these all fields i am accessing the from the databases and here i use the mongodb okay and this app is only for this schema is only for getting here nothing the uh, mutations are performed and i have performed the uh, record operations at the mongodb migrations in another app okay here, aggregation inputs here i have performed the migra uh, mongodb aggregation pipelines how getting the data from multiple sources i am performing the actions and putting the data into the mongodb and by using the graphql endpoints i will get it these are the fields i will get into the like this is the query class here i have to get the list and this is the resolver uh, this is the database connection and by using this i have get the user id like for this uh, aggregation of one like this uh, user id target perform and question list and these are already mentioned here user id target perform and question list and the question list is nothing but the another type like the foreign key relation like question list type is another there are the multiple fields like resource id version id and in this also the list type here is also another like parent child relationship okay 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 any more questions no nothing thank you Okay, Shweta. Shweta. Hello, Shweta. Hello. 